Hey everybody, in today's video, I am going to show you how to get Discord ran through your live streams. Um, not many people are covering uh, this way of doing it, so I wanted to show you all how to do this. I hope you find it helpful. If you do, please let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, let's jump right into this. First of all, you want to open your Discord like so. You want to go to the little settings cog right here. You want to open that. You want to go to uh, you want to go to your app and your app settings here. I can't speak today. Sorry about that. You want to go to I know it's here. Um, you want to go to There it is, voice and video. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm I'm blind, so you'll have to forgive me for that. I'm not actually blind. I just can't see very well. But you want to go to voice and video, and you want to make sure your input device and your output device are set the way you want them to be. This will be whatever microphone you want to use, and this will be whatever you want to output to, like if you wear headphones when you stream like I do you want this to be set to whatever headphones you're using so anyway we're gonna pop right out of this we can leave discord open I'm actually going to move it to my second screen for the next step there we go and I'm going to show you how to add it in now. So what you want to do is you want to go to your sources here. That little guy right there. You want to click that right there. And uh, you want to go down here to application audio capture. You want to click that little guy right there. You want to label it. Uh, on my Twitch setup, I have it labeled as Discord. But I'm not going to label it uh, for this video. Because uh, I'm pretty sure y'all can do that. You can label it whatever you want. And you want to add it. And then you want to click window. And you want to click discord. And then if you want to be able to hear your discord people. You want to change in your stream if you want to listen to your stream and hear your discord people you want to change monitor off to um monitor and output and that's how you do that and then you just uh click out of this and you're good to go that is basically three or four steps on how to set it up the new way uh if this helped you please let me know if i need to go into a little bit deeper detail also let me know that as well i will see you guys later god bless y'all y'all have a good one